You know, one of our favorite traditions leading into winter, what will lore predict? From the size of a hornet's nest to the color of a woolly worm, we're always learning from the land. Then Kathy takes us to Crab Orchard to learn from a pretty famous family. Have I ever got something to show you? Melinda Hedgecoth has been collecting weather lore for decades, but she just found this massive hornet's nest just a few weeks ago. Bad sign. Mama said people, you know, other people might walk all over it and never notice it. Her mother, Helen Lane, was featured in Life and Time magazines for her winter forecast. She's checking the thickness of the bark on the trees. Calls came from around the world asking about her specialty. Woolly worms is one of the things that she watched for. Are you familiar with those? Oh, yeah. Here's how the legend goes. If the tips of the worms are black, we're in for a hard winter, especially at the start and finish. If they're mostly brown, think less snow and milder temps. She worried about the woolly worms too because there wasn't near as many of them, you know, back then, and they're even scarcer now. The weather women of the Cumberlands have lived here in Crab Orchard going back generations, and in that time, they've gained a lot of wisdom. It goes way past just woolly worms. I think it's going to be a bad winter because. Uh, uh, the early morning fogs in August, I counted 11. Melinda saw a lot of spider webs, a huge amount of hickory nuts, and shares a family secret. The corn shucks was real thick this year. Uh, and that's another sign to go, go by. Her grandfather only heard the winds on Crab Orchard Mountain roar three times. That meant a bad snow, but when it got quiet, he knew to start chopping firewood. He said, it's going to snow. And they said, how do you know, Dad? And he said, cause you can hear that old barge blowing down on the Tennessee River. And when you hear that, it's coming to snow. Melinda shares her wisdom with us, something invaluable when we're always plugged in. There may be some scientific base to it, but, but we, we just don't know what it is every time. But, uh, but that, all they knew is to observe, and they lived outside close to nature. Take a look around. Listen to the birds. Clear some space and see what nature has in store for us. In Crab Orchard, I'm meteorologist Ben Cathy, WVLT News. Your first alert forecast with meteorologist.